All right, now hackathons are usually a good way of finding new tech solutions that can help in many instances. We recently went to a health hackathon. So in short, a hackathon is more like a gathering of software developers, coders, anybody in the IT space that um, is, that will get, be brought to a certain area, to a certain venue. Whether it's a company, NPO, or even the government will give these developers a problem statement. And from that problem statement, they will be given the task to, to come up with an innovative solution to solve that challenge. Well, for me, hacking actually goes beyond what the typical person thinks hacking is. For me, hacking really goes into finding a problem, breaking it down, trying to you know, extract any solution possible, you know, really challenging the problem itself and not letting the problem challenge you. As much as the whole country is focusing on 4IR and building these, I would say, opportunities of software developers, coders and everything of the like, we believe that we can give, that a hackathon will give them more opportunities for them to not only just work as a developer, but to maybe to broaden their minds to understand that there's bigger problems to solve that can be solved using their own skills. Most of our solutions, I will be honest, involve incorporating, you know, uh, 4IR, medical 4IR, and if, especially if the country can get into to that stage or to that position, whereby we can use fourth industrial revolution to really speed up the process of, 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 of healthcare. So the brief uh, that we were given is that the topic for this hackathon is due with the healthcare sector, specifically how to minimize the lines and the queues within healthcare facilities and speed up the diagnostics process to ease uh, the work of doctors and nurses and to advance the COVID-19 vaccine rollout. The number one problem in our healthcare facilities is that we are running on a mainly hard copy database, meaning when you go into a, a hospital or a clinic, you stand before the receptionist and behind them is a huge cabinet files of just uh, paperwork. So the, pro the solution to this is to digitize that data so that is available to any healthcare facility at any time. So the solutions we're trying to develop is obviously eliminating the traffic in hospitals and how we intend on doing that is having mobile deliveries, also increasing um, em the employment rates in rural areas. So um, trucks will go to the rural areas, they'll have a drop-off point and they'll give the medication to delivery bike people in the community and when the person receives this medication they will have an SSID number which they will then have to dial into their mobile number to show that they received the medication. As you know the government is currently building multiple hospitals across the nation to provide healthcare for everybody in the rural communities, townships and anyone who, who doesn't have access to it. But the problem that we still face is that as much as we're building these, um, these hospitals what, what are, what's the government doing or what are we doing for the person who can't even afford to go to a government hospital? So that's what we're doing. We want to find innovative solutions to see how can the man who cannot afford to go to the public hospital still see how he can just to check on his health. As connectivity is still quite expensive in South Africa, we need a lot more of these projects.